I'm Paul Gatlin with the Northwest Arkansas Business Journal. Joined today by Matt Kraft, and he is the chairman and CEO of engineering and design firm Kraft & Toll & Rogers. Matt, thanks for being here. It's very good to be here. Thank we you. We are here to discuss an historic day, maybe the most historic day in the 56-year history of the company. You have uh, formed an ESOP, an, mm -hmm. an employee stock ownership plan. Just a quick primer. What is an ESOP? Tell That's us how that works. <laughs> that is a good question. It has been an education for us. Yeah. Uh, you know, we heard that word a long time ago and didn't really know what it means, so we had to really uh, go through a lot of education for ourselves. And, and as the process went on, uh, we learned ever something every day about it. So, employee stock ownership plan uh, just means, and there's different types, a lot of different types of ESOP. The, the type that we are is a 100% employee owned. S Corp. And so it just means that um, everybody in our company that is, is eligible is an owner in the business. They, they are a shareholder. And so it, it goes into a lot more complexity than that. <laughs> but uh, that's, that's the gist of it is that all of our employees now are owners. Right. And you've got about 250 employees yeah. now. And the yes, company sir. was owned by who before? Just a group <coughs> of... We had, there were previously 25 shareholders okay. at the time. Uh, different ownership levels and that kind of thing, but there are 25 of us that uh, own the business. Okay, so as you're thinking about through this, you said this was about nine months to a year process of thinking mm -hmm. about this. Uh, why did you do it? What was the benefits you were thinking for your employees or now employee owners? Mm -hmm. What's the benefit for the company moving forward? Yep. Uh, <clears throat> we're most of our board right now and, and the, the, the majority shareholders, we're not ready to retire, <clears throat> but we're all in that uh, age group of uh, perhaps about, 50, Thinking about it. 50 years old where we know it's coming <laughs> right. at some point. So closer than it used to be. Yeah. Uh, not ready to go right now, but, but we knew we needed to be thinking about this and, and planning for that day that'll come eventually. And so we just uh, had lots of discussion over the past several years about you know which way do we want to go. Um, we could have continued the program that we were on, which is when people, shareholders retire, hopefully other people are able to buy in. And that was kind of our, the program for a number of years. We could have sold to an, another company. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of engineering companies do that. Uh, smaller companies sell to larger companies and that happens. That, that's certainly a viable option. Um, <clears throat> we, the, the thing we didn't like about that, we didn't want to lose who Kraft & Toll was. The culture that we had built over those 55, 56 mm -hmm. years. A lot of people put a lot of effort into that mm -hmm. culture and making it what it is and the, the legacy and the reputation that we have. And we just didn't want to lose that. So this option allowed us to continue Craft & Toll, being an independent company, uh, but also gives a means for the shareholders to eventually retire at some point. Right, and it's worth mentioning, it's pretty unique among Arkansas mm -hmm. headquartered businesses. You're only the third company headquartered in Arkansas. Ironically, the other two in Northwest Arkansas That's as right. well, Harps Food Stores and Central States yeah. Manufacturing. So is this immediate? Is, this a, is there a trigger date when your employees it's, are vested or it's right now? It's on. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, officially uh, 1st of September. Right. So we're, we're an ESOP now. So How did you tell the employees? I mean, I'm sure that was a, you know, a life-changing day mm -hmm. for people. You turn the employees into employee owners. You're right. now a part owner of a, you know, $35 million company with mm -hmm. uh, with the reputation of Kraft & Toll. How did you share the news with them? We had a company-wide teleconference. Okay. And I normally don't give speeches in front of uh, our company <laughs> necessarily. I like to talk about projects and other things like that, but uh, we just had a teleconference for about 15 minutes and just uh, told everybody the news. Uh, just last week. Right, and so I, how was that received? I mean... Well, it, it seems to be received very well. Of course, it's all brand new to, to most of them, and uh, like I said, it took us nine to, ten to 12 months to understand it, so we're hitting everybody fresh with a lot of information, and so very well received, but we're going to have some webinars for our staff uh, here over the next couple of weeks that uh, will ex explain a lot of the details and things and allow them to really absorb the information. Right. You mentioned the company culture and a lot of work that's gone on mm -hmm. uh, by people who've done work over the past, yeah. you know, some odd years. The company founded by your dad, <coughs> Bob Crafton, and Lim Toll yeah. uh, passed away earlier this year. Mm -hmm. You're now the CEO and chairman. Jim Toll, Lim Toll's son, is the CFO of the company. Right. From that perspective, from the perspective of family, uh, why was this important to do? I mean, like you said, this isn't an exit plan. You guys don't have a foot out the door. Why no. was this an important to set up to carry on that legacy of the company? Well, again, 
Uh, we're, we're proud of our, our fathers mm -hmm. and, and what they put into it. They both put in well over 30 years into the business and, and did the hard work uh, starting it. I, my dad uh, said what you said, which was, man, this may be the biggest day in the history of the company. And I said, I think the, the biggest day in the history of the company was the first day <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when y'all uh, set Start up. Start from the, a couple of hotel rooms in yeah, Rogers. That, yeah. That's right. Uh, they started that uh, business in a motel room so uh, and with a br broken tripod and, and the whole bit. So um, we didn't want to lose what they had built. And so that was important to us uh, going forward. And uh, it's not just Bob and Lim. And, and they would be the first ones to tell you that. It was never about Bob and Lim. You know, they brought in some key people, partners uh, that, that worked very hard right alongside with them for decades right. to build what we have. And now you've obviously got a really good group of employees or to put mm -hmm. this plan together for them. Talk yeah. about, you know, everybody always talks about recruiting and retaining mm -hmm. employees. Is it that your hope that, that something like this makes your company even more attractive to recruit those talented professionals to move you forward? Absolutely. We, we sure hope that that's the effect that it has. And it's, it's a great plan. Uh, because we're a 100% ESOP and the type of, of business that we are, our employees don't have to put anything into it. And so all they do is, is work at Craft & Tall and uh, you put in a year's worth and then you will receive a stock allocation at the end of that year and that's yours to keep. Uh, you become vested in three years and then when you leave the company you'll be paid out for those shares. So there's no cost but yet there's a great benefit. So yes, we, we certainly hope that that is going to help us to recruit and retain. Right. You, you've grown up here obviously through the company with your dad. You've grown up with Kraft & Tull, but you've been with an employee with Kraft & Tull a little mm -hmm. over 20 years. The yes. CEO now, I think this is your 10th year mm -hmm. as CEO. What do the next 10 years of Kraft & Tull look like in this new era of employee ownership for the company? Well, that's a very good question. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> we've been uh, kicking that thing around uh, for quite a bit now. We would, we would like to continue to grow, probably organically, perhaps with some acquisitions, but you know nothing definite right now. Um, we like where we're at, but we would we also want to grow the business. So okay. it's always been kind of our mission to grow. That was Bob and Lim's mission uh, when they first started with the two of them. So here we are, 250 people. So don't know where we're going, but uh, we feel optimistic about right. it. Right, and that's 250 people, I believe, in nine offices in mm -hmm. Arkansas and Oklahoma. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, real quick now, a couple of personal notes. I know you have two really big passions. One of which is cycling. You've mm -hmm. grown up here. Riding your bikes in, in old Rogers, I guess, certainly not the Rogers the way it is today. Yeah. Um, we hear this a lot, the mecca of cycling in the United <laughs> States. Are we becoming the mecca of cycling in, in the United States? Well, maybe perhaps at least in the central part of the country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so, and I think it's great. And there's all different kinds of cycling. Of course, mountain biking uh, is big here. We've got the, uh, the geography uh, for that and a lot of investment by a lot of people uh, to make mountain biking great, but we've also got great road cycling. There's some BMX course. My son likes the new pump track over at uh, the Jones Center right. at, uh, in Springdale. So he loves going down there and riding on that thing. It intimidates me, but he just whizzes around <laughs> that thing. So yeah, I think uh, it's, it's wonderful for our region mm -hmm. uh, to have that cycling reputation. So yeah, I'm all for it. And your connection with Craft & Toll is, is interesting when you think of cycling transportation mm -hmm. versus recreation. The yes. transportation, the, the getting to and from, and now the transportation right. infrastructure. Are you afforded the chance to work on some projects through yes. the company? Yes, and, and we love that. Um, we've got uh, planners who work with a lot of different communities and even states uh, to do bike and pedestrian planning. And we're working on several of those plans right now where we just work with a community, figure out where do bike routes need to go? Where do new trails uh, need to go? And so it's not just about recreation, but it's also about allowing people to get from their home to a place of work or to school on a bike. Mm -hmm. And so we, we love being a part of those planning projects. And then a lot of times that leads into uh, some design work for our firm as well. Sure. All right. Lastly here, we're heading towards October, your favorite time of the year if you're oh, a yeah. fan of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Dodgers. You and you your betcha. son. Father, 1988 is the last time they won the World Series. What's your what's your strength and weakness analysis of the <laughs> roster as we get ready for the postseason? Well, I'm sure they they've had a lot of juggling of the roster here the past several weeks, and that'll get firmed up as they head into uh, into the playoffs. the The magic number is is one, so I'm hoping today <laughs> is the day we just get that uh, playoff picture nailed down. Uh, my dad has been a Dodger fan since the 1950s. I grew up with it, and now my son is a Dodger fan. 
and we, the three of us, have a continuous text message <laughs> conversation <laughs> daily right. about uh, the game the night before, mm -hmm. who pitched, who hit a home run, uh, and so it, it's fun. Uh, it's a lot of fun for the three of us to be on that. Your so. text conversations are probably like the ones I have with me and my mother of the Chicago Cubs. Yeah. We got to go through this a few years ago, but uh, now this year with the second highest payroll in baseball, they probably won't even make the playoffs. So <laughs> there you go. All right, Matt Kraft, and he is the CEO and board chairman of Kraft and & Tall in Rogers. Matt, congratulations on this exciting time. In Thank the you very much, history. Paul. All right. Enjoy being here. Good to catch up. Thanks. All right, as usual, we appreciate you tuning in. I'm Paul Gatling. We'll see you next time.